Dear friends and comrades of Syriza, greetings from Finland and from the Left Alliance. I'm happy to send my regards as our cooperation has always been of great importance to my party and to me personally. I wish to share with you some of the insights that we have learned while working as a part of the center-left and green government coalition that aims at transforming Finland into the first carbon-neutral uh, welfare state, or as we like to call it, the Popular Front government. As the welfare state was under attack from the previous right-wing government, it is of crucial importance that we are now taking part in this government coalition and also repairing damages caused by several years of severe budget cuts. However, repairing the old is not enough. We need to transform society in order to solve the environmental sustainability crisis. This will require systemic changes over a long period of time, just as when we were building the welfare state. I believe Finland has an excellent opportunity to rebuild itself in line with the principles of sustainable development as a nation with a sustainable social structure, a well-educated population and a high level of technological expertise. One of the crucial elements for this is raising the general level of education. In line with this, the biggest reform and something that I'm very proud of as Minister of Education is that we have raised compulsory education to the age of 18 and implemented free of charge upper secondary education for all. This is something that the Left Alliance has aimed at for over two decades. Dear friends, our biggest challenge is to build sustainable development in the whole of Europe. The current challenge at hand is even greater than before, as security and peace in Europe has been compromised. Our core values as leftists and as Europeans are under attack by Russia's unlawful attack on Ukraine. I believe all our thoughts are with Ukrainians struggling for independence and the right of self-determination. International solidarity is of utmost importance. There are no silver linings in a war, only death and suffering. However, Europe is now more unified than in decades, and this can give momentum to strive for something better. In a just world, we always stand on the side of the oppressed against the oppressor. In a just wor world, we welcome all migrants to Europe with the same warmth we have welcomed Ukra Ukrainians fleeing Russia's war crimes and atrocities. In a just world, we free ourselves from the dependence on fossil fuels even faster than planned to both save the earth from climate change and to stop funding Russia's war against Ukraine and its civilian population. In a just world, Peace will come to Ukraine eventually. Dear friends, although the war changes everything, we still need to think about other systemic developments as well. In the times of the Euro crisis, which you, my friends, know so well, international solidarity was lacking. You Greeks faced the might of the Troika and received the hardest blow of austerity in Europe. Now, only some years later, austerity has been rid of legitimacy and there is a momentum to tackle systemic challenges together. We need to increase the speed of the green transition and do it in a socially just way. Giving Ukraine substantial aid, Europe has shown that we can have unified responses in times of war. And it is up to the left to build responses that show similar determinations in future times of peace. Thank you.